Welcome to part two church and I hope that you had a good time of prayer. Um, you know, just praying for our government, those in charge, also settling our own heart before the Lord um, and asking him for his guidance and not just believing what we see and hear around us the whole time and, and asking him just to still our hearts to settle into this time. As we carry on, we see it picks up in verse 11 and uh, we all love this piece as well. But, you know, it, it's just on where God has plans for us, thoughts and plans for us um, that are for good, even in bad situations. He has plans here and thoughts for the Israelites for good, even though they're in this bad situation of uncertainty, desperation, uh, depression almost. Um, you know, plans for good, not for evil, for welfare, not for evil. And evil here, if you look at it, it's just, you know, calamity, damage, disaster, bad. He doesn't have plans for our destruction and for us to be destroyed. But he's got plans for our good and our welfare. And if you look into those words, it, it almost mentions two components. One is peace and the other one is completeness. And so he has plans for, for peace for us and we know that that peace is found in him. And then also completeness. And, you know, that's not just the situations around us, but God is also concerned. He's concerned about the situation around us. He wants to help in that time. Uh, he wants to be a focal point in that time. But it's also for who we are as a person. You know, God is very concerned about that. Maybe more so. Uh, it's who we are. Um, are we looking more like his son? Um, are we getting to know him more? Um, is our character reflecting his and so who we are? He wants to bring this peace and this completeness. That's part of his plan. And over here, you know, with uh, the, the Israelites, we see just going forward is to give them a hope and a future. And even with us. And I love the word for hope here. If you look at the Hebrew, it's, it's a cord. Just a cord. You know, I think of a cord hanging from, well, hopefully something from the ceiling. Um, but if there's a cord, if you're stuck in a well and there's a rope there, and there's, the rope is tied to something stable on the outside, there's a chance that you are going to get out. Uh, and that's, that's what this hope reminds me of, that there is an uh, end strategy. There is a hope. There is a way out. And we see from the previous verse, it's going through this, but at the end, there is a hope. There is an out of the situation. Um, and then there's a future, and that's to the last end. And I think... You know, with this, after this verse 12, um, it just mentions they call on God and he hears, God hears. Um, but it's, it's for me here, the Israelites had a lesson to learn. Remember, why were they in this situation? Because they disobeyed God and they weren't following him. I'm not, again, I'm not copy pasting, but I think in every situation, God works for the good of those who love him. And so in each situation, there's more of God to go to. There's more to learn from God. And you know, for us, there's a hope in this time. Um, there's a hope even eternally. We know that. Um, you know that, that eternally there, there's a hope of our salvation because of what Jesus did on the cross. There's a hope and a future for us eternally. And so it's true eternally, but it's also true now where we have access to that hope um, and that, that future ending of this, exactly the same as the Israelites. You know, for them, they were off course and this helped, helped them come back on course and helped bring them back. Uh, and for us as well, I think this is a time of, of spiritual growth that can be. Just where we strengthen our bonds with God. And maybe some people have strayed. And during this time, they can come closer to God in this time and learn from Him. But it's, it's about our eternity and who we are. We can learn and grow in this time. Um, but it's also, I believe, about our situation. It was both for the Israelites. The end of 70 years. And at the end of this, we see God comes through on every promise. And they were restored with Him. And their eternity and who they were was restored with God and they could be at peace. But also then they were restored um, after the due time. And so I think we can have a, a hope in God. There is a hope in God for the end of this and for our eternity. And we need to remember that. Verse 13 is, is my favorite in this passage. And it just, you know, it mentions, God mentions that we will find him if we seek him. And if we seek him with all our heart. And I think I've used this before even in one of our video messages. It's a verse dear to me and it means so much because there's a promise in there that we will find God if we seek Him, if we seek Him with all of who we are. But I was just having a chat with one of my friends the other day and 
we were just saying there's so much deeper to God. You know, we think that we might have reached certain levels, but there's always deeper. No matter how, how far we are in our relationship with God, there's always more. And the more we seek Him, the more you will find of Him. So again, just a reminder, in this time, use it to strengthen your, your spiritual walk. Let that flow into all areas. Um, let's strengthen our walk with God and use this time wisely. Verse 14 then just goes on um, and it mentions that God restores. God comes and He restores the situation um, eventually. And so, church, the, the four things that I want us to take from this morning is just firstly, pray for our country. We will release something um, possibly later today or tomorrow. Just we think, you know, of doing um, a prayer initiative on Thursday in the morning. Um, and you're welcome to join just where we're praying for our country, our community, and then just hearing from God. And so be alert to that. Um, challenge you to take part in that. You'll hear about that coming soon. But pray. And not just any prayers of smarting this one or that one. But pray encouragement. Pray God's direction, His leadership, that He would guide those in, in leadership because that goes for our welfare as well. So pray. Uh, be content. You know, something we need to go through. This is a process that we're going through. This is something that needs to happen right now for the situation we're in. And so be content. Find the normal in God in seeking Him in this time. Uh, don't just say, oh, things will be fine when it's back to normal. You know, that normal might never come. And so any situation we find ourselves in, don't delay God or push Him to the back. Find contentment in God and find contentment and a pattern in the situation you're in. Let's do that now. And then... Uh, don't just listen to everything, even in a spiritual context. Don't just listen or react to things, um, but wait on God. Let Him be your instructor. Let Him in your times with Him be guiding you in what to do, where to go, when to start, what to, uh, and so forth. And then lastly, church, just as we, as we trust in God and His plans, remember it's His plans, not our own. It's trusting in His plans. He has good plans for us. So let's find out what those plans are. So trust in His plans. Uh, there is a hope for eternity. And we can be secure in our relationship with Him. There's a hope. But also there is a hope right now for our situation. And we just need to be keeping in step with God as we seek Him during this time. I hope that this encourages you. And church, let's be, let's be praying together in this time. Let's be a church of encouragement. Where people sometimes are being very critical. Um, and analytical of things it's okay to analyze but but let's be a difference let's be encouraging let's be praying for our government let's be living different because we find contentment in this time and it's in jesus and he's directing the pattern of our life and our work and all our being let's keep each other in prayer and um, once you close in prayer have someone just uh, with you now just close in prayer and ask god to help in all these steps going forward We'll keep you updated with our prayer initiative. But God bless you and hope you have a great time in searching Him and finding that peace in Him in this time.